please come to order. The bell has rung. I don't want anybody out of his seat. I'll send you right to the principal's office. Get closer to the mic. And then that means detention. Supervisor and Chief Executive of the Town of Eastchester to present to you, to all of you, a proclamation. Tony, would you please come forward? Whereas Eastchester celebrates our country's bicentennial spirit, and whereas in conjunction with America's 200th anniversary, our community celebrates Eastchester High School's 50th anniversary bicentennial alumni reunion, and whereas the large representation of alumni, friends of the alumni, former school teachers, trustees, and honored guests gathered from each state of the union as well as from lands afar, and whereas for many this marks the first return to Eastchester since graduation, and whereas a program of nostalgia covering five decades is taking place today in the spirit of togetherness, and whereas on this momentous occasion our community interest centers on this historical event, now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Anthony J. Cullen, supervisor of the town of Eastchester, by the power vested in me, do hereby proclaim Saturday, October 16th, 1976, Eastchester Waverly High School Reunion Day in Eastchester. Thank you very much, and I present this to John Barack. Thank you. Come on. Now, the chairman of the Board of Education, representing the Board of Education here at Eastchester High School, Bobby Russell. <laughs> we are very grateful for the press coverage that we've had 
throughout these past months. We are grateful to Vinny Bendu and his <laughs> columns in the Eastchester Record for their coverage that they've been giving us. And to all of you here at the press today, Tony Lamana, Joe Filippo, Michael Green, Don Scarcella. Now the other half of the white and white team, Phil White, from the year 1946, and now mayor of the village of Tuckahoe. Phil White, please. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much, John. The old Jefferson Street School, the old Waverly School that I have just mentioned, to us of that era, our conditions were good. As time has passed by, and uh, better uh, facilities have been provided than provided. Many people fail to understand and even respect what has been done for them in the era of the field of education. I'm awfully sorry to have to make this comment, but unfortunately it is true. Thank you very much, John. We do appreciate your coming out here today and be with us uh, And as the oldest uh, graduate of the old Waverly High School. John White. Thank you very much, John. Miss Virginia Bear. May Madden. Louise Larrabee. classmates from 1938 look to you? They all look very good. Uh, I recognized everyone immediately and of course some of the people still live in town so I see them occasionally but uh, even the ones out of town you recognize them right away. Is it good to see your friends uh, together again? Yeah but it'd be a riot if they had Halloween masks on because <laughs> you can recognize them. You can. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is this the first time you've gotten together? Yes. And for many years. Been, I'd, I'd say at least 20 since I've seen you. have a camera up to check you. Okay, that's good. Gray and the women had gotten fat. Is, did you find any of that? <laughs> Definitely not. Not the women, anyway. The girls not gray. The women never get gray. Just the men. 
any, we have, did you have any Kojak? I'm out of a box. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> did you have any Kojak uh, haircuts in your class? I haven't really met that many of my classmates yet. Haven't. I haven't seen that many. Stephanie is one of them. What? The what? Have seen any of in your class? Any of all men? No. Haven't seen any. No. Wait a little. Looks. They look marvelous to me. They really do. They have. They've hardly changed at all. Really. Um, they seem the same, except just a little bit older. But you know, more children. Uh, they're just fantastic. It's great. It's really, really great. And how about your class, 57? Well, we had a reunion a few years ago, and we saw each other before, and we thought we looked very good. Very good. No one looks old. No one looks old. <laughs> those films bring back memories. They're from the collection of Dewey Macenti and we thank him for letting us show them to you.